the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Yesterday, President Obama said this about his opponents. And, and here's, here's one more that I've heard. I like this one. Uh, we have to, and I'm, I'm quoting here, we have to repeal this failure before it literally kills women, kills children, kills senior citizens. Now, I have to say that one was from six months ago. I just want to point out we still have women, we still have children, we still have senior citizens. Strong words from the president. Here's the Republican claim he was referring to. The American people, especially vulnerable women, vulnerable children, vulnerable senior citizens, now get to pay more and they get less. That's why we're here. Because we're saying, let's repeal this failure before it literally kills women, kills children, kills senior citizens. Let's not do that. All right, joining us is the uh, Republican Congresswoman who said those words, Michelle Bachman. Uh, thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. All right, you really believe if this law, and it is a law, passed by the House, passed by the Senate, signed into law by the President, approved by the Supreme Court, goes into effect, that women, seniors, children are going to die? That's the greatest fear that Americans have. And the President got a big applause line when he made that statement. But it'll be very unpleasant if the death panels go into effect, that's the IPAB board, if we have denial of care for women, children, senior citizens, or if we have problems where people aren't given the drugs that they need, maybe they'll be not denied drugs for breast cancer, you bet this can happen. That is what I'm worried about, not just me, people all across the United States. So this is a, literally an issue of life and death. That's why you so see this struggle in the those, Senate. Those Absolutely, but don't I you do. realize that millions and millions of Americans, right. but millions and millions of Americans will now have health insurance. Earlier, they didn't have millions health insurance. Millions and millions of Americans are losing health insurance right now. They're being thrown off their employer-paid health insurance. But they'll be they eligible love. to go to these exchanges and buy health insurance. I was in a meeting this morning, Wolf, and we were told, again, that the people who will be thrown into the exchanges, the health care premiums that they'll have to pay, even when they're subsidized, will be more than what they're paying now. So I firmly believe that we could see that more people are actually going to be negatively impacted by Obama care than help. Just the opposite of what the president's hopes were. Well, let, let's go through some of these points and, and you tell me if you think it's good or bad. Is it good or bad that children can now be on their parents' health insurance policies until they reach the age of 26? Well, these are benefits that are being done now, is, is that, privately is, contracted in but, the private but sector. But that's part of Obamacare. But again, what we're talking is about that good is... Or good or bad? When it's done between private parties, but it's that's a good the law. Thing. The but, law now. But the mandate, government but you can, is you, forcing you it to that. be you, done. You support that, right? I support freedom of choice so that people can do that. If people want to have their children on their health insurance policy until they're 45 years of age, they should be able to do that. It, the government shouldn't say what age you cut it off. You may have a child that is completely dependent on you for physical or mental reasons. If that child is now 56 years old and the parent wants to take care of them on their health insurance plan, they should be able to pay that company whatever it is, is it, to keep them on the plan. If you have a pre-existing condition, yes. should you be allowed to buy health insurance? Well, of Should course. an insurance and, company and be able to deny you insurance over, coverage? Over 30 different states already had pre-existing condition plans. There are relatively few states that didn't. The Washington so you Post said that. You that it would be a $5 billion charge to take care of people with pre-existing conditions. I would put my name on the government check to pay $5 billion every year to help people with pre-existing conditions make sure they have should health insurance. Should there be insurance. a cap? Should there that. be a cap how much an insurance company can provide? And at one point, if let's say you're very, very ill, you get cut off? Well, the laundry list that you're going through... This uh, is all part of right, Obamacare. Right. The laundry list that you're going through, the, what your premise is that 
government must mandate it. I don't agree that government, government must has, mandate it. But they have. It's what, the law now. And that's what I don't agree with. But, I don't agree but, with the so mandate. So if you don't like the law, there are ways to try to change it, but you don't have the votes, as we just saw in the but Senate. But what I believe is that people need the freedom to buy what they want and buy what they can contract. And various states over the years have tried to deal with things like pre-existing conditions, like having your kids on the insurance policy. That's really what works, you is like, the living laboratory of the states. I'm asking you these tough questions because They're these tough are... tough, and I'm glad uh, you are. Uh, let's talk let's about, about Let's talk about about people who can afford to buy health insurance but you know what they'd rather spend their money going out to dinner going on vacations they don't buy health insurance but they get into a bad car accident and they wind up in the emergency room is it fair that you and I taxpayers and others simply take care of them it could be a half a million dollars in medical expenses that we pay for these freeloaders on Obamacare, there will be more people that the taxpayers are taking care of after but Obamacare the than before. Is it fair That's that, your question. Your is question it fair is about that people, taxpayers picking up the tab for other people, people's health care, and more Americans that people, will pay more for people's health care. Here's healthcare. the question. Is it fair that people who can afford to buy health insurance can become freeloaders and taxpayers will take care of them if they get into an emergency medical situation? Is that fair? Well, the fairness that is... Uh, la lacking in Obamacare is clear because President Obama has changed Obamacare over 19 times now. He has an uneven playing field so that if you are a political favorite of the president's, you've just got an exemption. Big business got a huge exemption, yeah, but you're not, not the American the people. Are you happy that there are people out there who have money, but they decide they don't want to buy health insurance, I think people but that will take care of them no matter what? Is that fair? You, what you're talking about is a very, very tiny We're talking, percentage of the American people. It's the real world out there. The real world is that now every single American Have you been will, to an emergency is going room? to be... You see what's going my on? My oldest son is a physician. Uh, obviously, Our you oldest know. Son is a physician. You know who I've shows been up. To an emergency These are people who don't have health insurance, and we take care Quite of them. Quite often, it's illegal aliens. Now, many illegal of, aliens well, show up, and a, so we, the American taxpayer, are picking up the tab for people who aren't American citizens. I'm just that's telling That's another you, subject. But what about if you're an American citizen and you can afford to buy health insurance and you don't? The but you just want to take question, advantage of the situation. The bottom line of your question, Wolf, is, that the Amer is it fair that the American people are picking up the tab for other people's health care? We have over 300 million Americans. The estimate was 46 million Americans didn't have health care, but that also included illegal aliens. We know now the estimate from the government is that about 30 million people are going to be cut off their employer's health insurance no. because of Obamacare. I, I, I don't know where this you're getting... This is a very I, bad, bad I don't know where you're getting 30 million people From the cut government. Off. That, that's not true. From the federal that, government. You, you should have to show me those numbers. Uh, the point is, though, that we'll people... We'll compare notes people, after if this, this system, if this new program works, the new law, if it works, goes into effect January mm -hmm. 1st, if, if the employer kicks somebody off their health insurance, people will still be able to buy health insurance, even if they have pre-existing conditions, even if they don't have a job, even if they have whatever, they'll be able to, go, and if they can't afford it, they, they'll be subsidized. They, they're subsidized, but as I learned this morning over at the Capitol by government officials, they told us that those people who are going to lose their employer care, who go into the health exchange, will spend more on premiums subsidized than they did before when they were on their let's, employer's let's wrap health this, insurance. Let's wrap it up. Just, so they're worse off. Yeah, it's are you unfair. Are you ready to see the government shut down in order to uh, defund Obamacare? The government doesn't go into shutdown. Let the, the accurate term Midnight, goes Monday into night. slowdown. All right, well, there's because huge the government chunks, continues huge to function, chunks of the government will slowdown. not be funded. And 17 I, are you times ready since to the do 90s that? that's gone into the slowdown. I hope Harry Reid doesn't do that because in the House, we already fully funded Every part of government, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. You're going to have to consider everything well, but Obamacare. Here's, here's the simple question. This language that the Senate has just voted on to pass a continuing resolution, nothing to do with defunding Obamacare. It allows the government to go forward. Will you vote in favor of it? I won't vote for it, and I don't think a lot of Republicans will, because we want we were want you to around delay. in 95 and we 96 want to delay when, the very when there was bad, a government shutdown? Well, remember, there were two government shutdowns in the month before Ronald Reagan ran for president in 1984, and he won by a landslide. The American people fear Obamacare. It's more unpopular now than ever before. They want us to fight to defund it and defund are ways and to fight going, without shutting to down the government do. or raising we don't questions want to shut about, it down. about America's credit I don't know why Harry Reid or President Obama wants to shut it down. They don't want to shut it That's down. That's not what we want to do. Well, we didn't. We're the first ones to fund government. We fully funded it, but for Obamacare. 
And that's what the American people want us to do, fight for them. And that's what we're so, doing. We believe in fairness. But and, you, and Obamacare is anything is but Carl fair. Is Carl Rove a smart political uh, Republican analyst? I believe that what the American people want the is question. for us is to Carl fight Rowe for him. I'm not here to talk about Carl Rowe. Because he says, I mean, I, what he I'm says talking this about is the a, a real people, political need, blunder they need, to link these they need, issues. They need wonderful health care. They need us to fight for fairness. And right now, President Obama has picked winners and losers among the American people. And James Hoff of the Teamsters Union says the unions are losers under Obamacare. We're fighting for James Hoff and the, T and the, and the Teamsters Union be treat to be treated equally with big business. We believe right. in labor. We're fighting for them. I never thought I'd see the day that you're supporting James you Hoff now. and Teamsters <laughs> and the AFL-CIO. Michelle Bachman, uh, Republican of Minnesota, good to have you back. Hey, You're going to be around a little bit more visibly, Much right? Much more. We'll Much have more. you back. Thank you. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll continue the special coverage of what's going on.